coming up in this video. I'm so excited about this cocktail. I absolutely love this. Uh, I've got Lanique, and if you've never heard of Lanique before, it's kind of a rose petal liqueur, very strong. If you love me and you love Turkish delight, stay tuned. Hey, drinks fans, I am Steve the Barman, and I would love it if you subscribe to this channel if you want to learn how to drink, serve, and enjoy your favorite drinks even more. I've got a big grin in my face. This is Lanik. I love using this. It's essentially a liquid Turkish delight, rose petal liqueur, 39% ABV, and I'm so excited about this cocktail. This is delicious. So let's crack on. So this cocktail is going to get uh, served up in a nice sort of rocks glass, tumbler glass. It's a shaken cocktail as well. Uh, first ingredient we want 45. 45 mil, you could go 50, uh, I just like 45. 45 mil of Lanique Rose Petal Liqueur. Spirit, liquid Turkish delight. Oh, that's so tasty, so, so tasty. Uh, next ingredient one is some freshly squeezed lime juice. And I just need 25 mil of that. Now, I need some coconut to go with this uh, for the coconut. Uh, first part of the coconut, I'm going coconut rum. It's just a brand I use, Dead Man's Fingers. This bottle is very, very nearly done. Uh, so I might actually flip it up. There's a few changes coming to my channel in the next few weeks. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But there's just enough in here to do that. And I just want 10 mil. Perfect. Oh, just it's run out on 12 mil i'm going 12 mil 12 mil of um it's gone look, it's gone of um that was good of coconut rum and then the second part of the coconut i'm going i used this a couple of videos ago never tasted it before never had it before really loved it it's kind of a sort of a creamy element to this cocktail and um, full disclosure i actually found this on instagram so i kind of wanted to try it but obviously it had sort of a cream base to it but i um i just wanted to use uh, non-dairy so I've gone for some coconut milk and I just want 10 mil of that now a few more ingredients to go still um, this could be classed as kind of like a sour cocktail because there was an element of egg white uh, as always as you guys if you've watched my videos before you know that I don't use egg whites instead I use a product like this. This is uh, Miss Betty's Bitters Miraculous Foamer. Vegan friendly, shelf stable. That little bottle is the equivalent of 160 egg whites. So I just need about a quarter to a third of way too much of a pipette. A bit more. There we go. About a quarter of a pipette. And that just um, sort of mimics the egg white and that just puts a lovely sort of froth texture through the drink. Now two more ingredients. Uh, first one, I'm going for some sugar syrup. I just want 10 ml of sugar syrup. And then the final ingredient is uh, some bitters. I haven't actually used these bitters for ages, but I love them. This is uh, Bitterman's Burlesque Bitters. And they have got, so they're, they're good for Mexican tequila, let's put into this, a gin, a Caribbean rum. Uh, where's the ingredients? Uh, menage of hibiscus, acai, I love that word, I can never say it probably. Acai, uh, long pepper, and so long pepper in it is so sweet, spicy, and a bit tart. So I just want about, these little pipettes in there, again, that's a bit too much. I'll just hold that there, put that there for the close up as well. I just need about that much for a pipette, just popped in there. About half that, there we go. So these are Bitterman's Burlesque Bitters. Amazing. Right, now just need to ice that down and we're gonna give it a quick shake. There we go, that's all iced up. Pop that to one side. Now, just before the uh, just before the shake, as always, uh, I actually couldn't see a name for this cocktail either. So this is perfect for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for all your help so far. Um, give me a name for this cocktail. Put that in the comments below. Uh, see what name we can come. That goes into my uh, cocktail book, which goes in Patreon, which leads me into nicely to saying thank you to my lovely Patreon members. Thank you for your love and support. Greatly appreciated. Right, hard, fast shake. 10 to 12 seconds, let's go. 
Lovely, jubbly. The one thing I had, didn't mention with the foamers as well, just get a bit of stray bit of orange there, uh, is that the cool thing with those bitters is with egg white, you kind of have to dry shake as well. But with this, you don't have to. The bitters just froth it up straight away in there. Right, now just need to strain this cocktail out. Single strain. That's lovely. It looks like a milkshake. Perfect. And then fresh ice. Lovely. That'll do. And then garnish. I'm just going for a little, uh, little raspberry kebab. I haven't prepped this yet. Apologies. So just going for a little raspberry kebab. And then just to set this off, a little sprig of mint. Really hot in here today. Uh, that's my apple mint that I've been growing. That's gone huge, uh, but normal sort of Moroccan mint. So I'm just going to garnish that with a bit of mint. And there we have it. Popping up on screen now will be, uh, well, it won't be Linique because I haven't used Linique before in these videos, but I'm going to do some more Linique. If you're watching this in a year's time, there'll be loads of Linique videos there. Uh, but now, for now, uh, I'll pop something online that you'd hopefully enjoy. Give me a name. Cheers.